Did you think you knew everything about Windows 10? Well, today I'm going to give you eight settings that you may not have known about. I know a few of them are new to me. Stay tuned. You learn something new every day. So if you're like me, you've probably been using Windows 10 for quite some time. And in that time, I thought I pretty much knew everything Windows 10 had to offer. I thought I had conquered every aspect of Windows 10. Fortunately, that turned out to not be the case. When I got the idea to put together a video on settings in Windows 10, I found so much stuff that I'm gonna have to split it into two videos because there's no way I can make a single video on just some of the cool settings you can make in Windows 10. So what I want you guys to do is take some notes through this video and at the end, comment on how many of these settings you knew about. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I got a cool bonus setting that I bet a lot of you guys didn't know existed. Now, let's get to it. So this is a completely fresh install of Windows 10. And I did this because there's a lot of settings that I typically do right after installing Windows 10. And a lot of those are the ones I wanna show you in this. So to start out with, the first thing I do when Windows 10 installs is get rid of this news and interests and the search bar. So what I typically do is to get rid of news and interests, you just right click, you go to news and interests and you just select turn off and it'll get rid of that stupid weather thing on your taskbar. The next thing I typically do is go over to the start menu here, right click, go to search and then go to hidden and that'll get rid of the search box itself. I find it kind of ironic that most of the coolest settings in Windows 10 is disabling features that Microsoft thinks we want. We don't want them. We just don't. Come on, Microsoft. So the next setting I'm gonna show you is the clipboard history. And this is something I had heard about in Windows 10, but I'd never actually used before. So what you do is you go ahead and click on start, click settings, then go into system, and then go down to clipboard. And from here, you wanna check on clipboard history. And essentially what this does is it allows you to have more than one thing on the clipboard. Let me show you how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start. I'm going to open up notepad here and then we're going to type in, okay, we have three words here. I'm going to go ahead and select one and hit copy, select two and hit copy, and then select three and hit copy. And now what we're going to do now is obviously if I right click and hit paste, it's going to paste the last thing that I copied. But if you hit the windows key and V it'll bring up your clipboard history board, which will essentially have everything that you've copied into your clipboard history. Okay. So the next one that we're going to look at is I'm going to show you how to solve one of the most annoying problems within windows 10. And that's unfortunately windows update, wanting to update your computer at the most random times. So if we go ahead and click home here, we're going to go into update and security. And then we're gonna change the change active hours right here. And what you wanna do is right here where it says current active hours is between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So if we click on change right here, we can change the active hours that we're using the PC. So if we don't want Windows Update to run while we're using the system, we would change this time to correspond with when we're actually using the computer. And if you don't wanna have this right here, if you don't wanna manually set it, what you can also do is you can come up here and you can automatically adjust active hours for this device based on activity. So if we turn that on, what it's going to do is base your active hours based on how often you use the system. And unfortunately, Microsoft, they know when you use your computer. So if anybody should know what settings should automatically be set in this case, it's probably Microsoft, unfortunately. Okay, so the next setting that we're going to set here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button here. I'm going to disable having Windows show these stupid suggestions that pop up in your start menu all the time. Go into personalization, then we want to click on start, and we want to go right here where it says show suggestions occasionally in the start menu, and go ahead and flip that one off right there. In this case, Microsoft, you're going to have to find another way to sell ads, not in my start menu, all right? Cool. All right, while we're in this section right here, the next setting is which folders actually appear in your start menu. If you come down to start right here, you can see on the side, 
Currently, I have documents, pictures, and settings. You can change what folders appear in this section in the start menu, and you do that right from this link right here. If we click on this, this will give you a list of what you can show in that menu. And typically what I do is I'll turn pictures and documents off, and I'll turn File Explorer on. I'll keep the File Explorer and the settings in the start menu. So if we click on the start menu now, as you can see, we have the File Explorer and settings, just like I had told it to do. The next setting I'm going to show you is actually pretty helpful. Many of you old time Windows users like the command prompt better than you like PowerShell. However, Microsoft kind of wants you to use PowerShell instead. However, if you would like to replace the PowerShell with the old command prompt, there's an easy way to do it. Let me show you how. We still need to be in the personalization area of settings. What we do is go down to the taskbar portion right here, and from taskbar you'll see replace command prompt with the Windows PowerShell. And now of course this setting is turned on, which means it's gonna replace the command prompt with the PowerShell. However, if you turn this off, let me show you what happens. First off, I'm gonna right click on the start menu right here, and as you can see, Windows PowerShell is in the secret start menu right here in Windows 10. But if we turn this off, then if I right click on the start menu, now we have command prompt. I think this is much more useful. And I'm gonna do this to every system I have now that I know this setting exists. Okay, so this next setting may or may not affect you, but it's definitely something I would recommend doing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this. We're going to go back to home, and this is going to be turning off background recording while gaming. Now, honestly, I didn't even know this was happening. So this is another one of those settings that I didn't realize existed, but apparently Windows likes to record gameplay in the background while you're playing games because... You know, there's nothing else that you might be doing at that time that might need system resources, right? I mean, come on, really? So the way you turn this off is you go over to gaming, and then from gaming, you go over to where it says captures. And then from captures, this first one where it says background recording, make sure this is turned off. You don't have to mess with any of the other settings. You just have to make sure the first one is set to off. Now this may or may not be turned on by default on your system, but it's definitely worth checking because if you have kind of a potato of a system, the last thing you want is a recording in the background taking up system resources. I mean, that's obvious, right? So now for the last and final bonus tip that I promised you at the beginning of the video. Now, if you knew this existed, then good on you because I didn't know it existed, so that means you knew more than I did. But that's enabling God mode in Windows 10. Let me show you how to do it. What you wanna do is you wanna create a folder right here on your desktop and once you create this folder, you have to give this folder a specific name. It would be impossible to remember this string. So what I did is I went ahead and made a note of it right here. And this is the string right here. So you take this string and you essentially name your folder this string right here. I'll put this down in the notes below so you can just copy it right from the video. But what we're going to do is go ahead and copy that right there. I'm going to minimize this. And then we're going to rename this folder as that string. And then once you do that, it should change the icon to look kind of like the control panel icon. And when you open that up, it gives you access to pretty much every setting from within Windows right from an easy to use spot. This is essentially like a control panel on steroids. It's amazing how many different things that you can do from this control panel. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I know that God mode, I'm definitely gonna have to dig through that later because that's actually a pretty neat feature. But anyway, if this video was helpful to you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. Oh, and hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.